do for this all. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for this opportunity to have a, the chance to come before you with the audience of loved ones and, and, and the righteous ones, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you for, for just learning and understanding your word more than I did before yesterday and the day before, God. Each day I get greater, greater in your word. So I'm going to come to you guys from Philippians today, um, Philippians 4, 4, and from 10 to 4. I'm going to read, okay? It says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last you care for me has flourished again. Do you surely do care? but you lack opportunity. But that I speak in regard to need, I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be a base and I know how to be a bomb. Everywhere and in all things, I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to be a bomb and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And the reason that I chose this is because it, it took me some time to really, really understand both of these, um, to rejoice in the Lord always. I grew up in the church and I've always loved God. But to really rejoice in him, it took me some, some struggles, some, 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 some experiences, some 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 let down, some tears, some breaking down, some, some of all of that to be able to come back and say, God, you, you've came through and I, I, can, I can see my way through this. That's rejoice for me, okay? To feel or to show great joy and delight in God is a rejoice. So the, I hold that scripture because I didn't always rejoice in the Lord always. So I try to hold that daily and I hold it daily because no matter what I'm going through, I have to, to really thank him and just, just to be happy through it all. Okay. And, and content is another word that, that really, really, um, I attach to, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me because through his strength, I gain contentment. Okay. Second Corinthians say for the sake of Christ, then I am content with weakness, insults, hardship, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. It took a lot of weakness, a lot of weakness for me to go through to realize how strong I really was. It took the worst time in my life for me to call on God every single day that I woke up for six months of my life. Throughout the day, I rejoiced in him for six months for him to take me through that journey in my life. And with that, I, I got contentment. And I knew that the only way I could get contentment is to forgive, to understand, to see my weaknesses, to gain the strength. To, to be strong through no matter what my triumphs are, what my burdens are, I have to give them to God. And that contentment gave me strength to be a better person, a better mother, a better sister, a better friend. And hopefully, God, you see all that is a better, a better journey in your walk. I'm not perfect and nor do I try to be, but I try to walk with you and I try to walk with your righteousness and I look for your quiet voice to tell me when I'm right and when I'm wrong. So God, the strength I get from you is also keeping me content. And with contentment, I'm, I get joy and I can, re I can rejoice and I can praise you openly and lovingly because I never, never truly did that. 
because there would always be something inside that would hinder that rejoice from really being rejoiceful. So living through a lot of pain and agony and to be able to wake up in the morning and still be able to say, thank you, God, you got me through this. It's given me a reason to rejoice and to praise you and thank you for all that you have blessed me with and the continuous joy that I get when I hear your word. So God, um, within everything that you have brought me through, the one thing you have not done is let me down or let me go. So holding on to that gives me the strength to hold on to your unchanging hands and never let you go. And as long as I walk with the mindset holding you close and dear, you guide me. You will guide me. And you will hold me. No matter how I feel and what what anger I'm in and where I want to go and what I want to do, God. I, I listen to you when I didn't. When I didn't before, I didn't know what listening to you really meant. I had to find that quiet voice. I had to be still and listen. And listen. I can't listen and move. At the same time, they don't work for me. I need quietness. I need a still place to hear. Because I heard someone say this morning, there's so many things going on inside my head. I had to learn to be still. I had to learn to sit down. I had to learn to let God let go. So with all of that, that all of that greatness that you have given me and continue that I can see, I can see clearly that I need you. I can see clearly that nothing great comes without you. I can see clearly that you have healed me. Even though I don't feel completely healed, I'm healed. I'm healed. Because I believe in your stripes. I believe in you. I believe in your word. And once I believe, can't nobody take that from me. You give it to me. And only you can take it. So God, once again, I can do all things through you. And Proverbs says, she is clothed with strength and dignity. And she can laugh at days to come. And I can do that. I can laugh at days to come. I can laugh when I'm sad. I used to be sad and sit in it for days. I used to get mad and sit in it for weeks. Not no more. Contentment, strength, rejoice has allowed me to free myself from all of that that hindered me before. So God, I thank you. I thank you for your power and your word. I thank you for prayer. Because prayer changes things. This I know. Because somebody prayed for me. Somebody prayed for me. And I thank you. I thank you for that prayer. That prayer that changed my life. That word that made a difference. That sermon that pricked my heart. They led me to your water, Jesus. I ask you to never leave me, as I will never leave you, God. I only want to get stronger.
and with you that can happen. You've done it already, Jesus. You've done it already. So I want to thank you in advance for what you have done, you're going to do. If it's good for me, you know. If it's not, you also know. But only good comes from you, so that's what I'm seeking. I'm seeking good. So God, I rejoice in your word. I give you praise. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your forgiveness. And I thank you for loving me. This so old little old baby spoiled. They were rotten for all the time. I thank you for loving me. And I ask you, God, to just daily give me a word. Give me a mindset that I can go and I can strengthen someone else. I can lift somebody else up. That I can be a light. Even in my darkness, I can be a light. So shine bright in my life, Jesus. Continue to shine bright in all of our lives. The rain on us with your love and your mercy and your love and grace, Jesus. I thank you. Daily. I thank you for who you are, what you are. I thank you for your heart, Jesus. I thank you for your heart. Because your heart has, has walked into mine <laughs> and changed my heart. So I thank you, Jesus. I thank you once again for allowing me to speak to you to praise you to let you know that I feel your presence I feel your presence <laughs> and with that I'm pleased I'm blessed I love you and I thank you for all that you do, Jesus. Continue, continue to make me greater in my walk. Greater in you, Jesus. Greater in you. Greater in you, Jesus. Not in me, greater in you. I thank you, Jesus, and I love you all. <laughs>